हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो वी आर विद द फिफ्थ टॉपिक फॉर द फोर्टींथ चैप्टर ऑफ माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग वेयर द टॉपिक इज टाइटल्ड थिन फिल्म फॉर्मेशन इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर डीलिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द मोनोलिथिक माइक्रोवेव इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स दोज कैन बी ऑपरेटिव एट द माइक्रोवेव सिग्नल फ्रिक्वेंसी After introduction to this technology, we have understood what are the types of the materials with which next the fabrication steps are also introduced, so that the device can be generated to operate at the microwave signal here. Now let us see a step into it that details the thin film formation in this video. <music> so as in the previous topics corresponding to this monolithic microwave integrated circuitry we have listed out the various material types and their properties also so very first of all out of those materials here we are going to discuss about the resistive type of the thin film formation here so for the thin film formation of the resistive type the configurations can be given those i can show you with the help of schematic diagram so here we have the three types of the configurations corresponding to the resistive type on to the planar form here so here this can be regarded as implanted resistor so of course the behavior will be as like we have seen to be the lumped element but it is a part of the integrated circuitry at the microwave monolithic case here so here we have the bottom place to be the semi insulating substrate here and here we have the metal above it so here we have the surface resistivity denoted by rho s which is greater than the value of 20 whereas this is the resistor formed here now the second configuration is again for the same this is called as mesa resistor so for the mesa resistor again we have the metal part at the top position whereas the semi insulating substrate is there at the bottom and here we have the surface resistivity rho s that it is greater than 3 value at last we have the third configuration called as deposited resistor and for the deposited resistor again we have the semi insulating substrate material this is the metal and here the rho s value ranges in between the 3 and that of 100 here so this is the resistor here so these are the three configurations we have for the thin film formation into the planar form for resistive type now the resistance value for such a planar configuration of any of the type can be denoted by capital r in terms of small l in multiplication to rho s divided by w in multiplication to t so the measurement of resistance will be in terms of ohms so i outline this particular formulation which will be very much helpful in solving the problems based upon it so here we describe l to be length of the resistive film whereas w is width of the resistive film next to that rho s it can be called as the sheet resistivity and this is in terms of ohm meter here whereas t denotes which is represented into the denominator the film thickness in terms of meters here so i just mention here thickness 
Now this is the generalized diagram with respect to the thin film resistor here. So we represent here T as a parameter of the thickness here. So this is the low resistivity material. And it has the characterized parameter rho suffix S here. Whereas the dimensional length can be denoted as L here, the width W can be denoted at this place. Whereas these two forms, the contacts of this resistor and this is the basic resistive material here. Now, after the formation of the planar resistive film, let us have introduction to the planar inductive film here. So for the planar inductive film, we also have certain configurations. So these are the configurations corresponding to for the first type, we have the name. This is Mendar line. The second one is called as S line. The third one is called as square spiral. And the fourth one is called as circular spiral here. Now the various types of the inductors with respect to the configurations that we have seen, the very first of them can be the ribbon inductor. And for the ribbon inductor, the inductance value that we usually denote by L is computed as 5.08 in multiplication to 10 raised to the power minus 3 times L in the square bracket which is in multiplication we have L into N in the bracket L divided by W plus T here added to 1.19 further added to 0 0.022 in multiplication to W plus T divided by L. So this is supposed to be obtained in terms of nano Henry per millis here. Here the small l corresponds to the ribbon length in terms of millis whereas small t is the representation of ribbon thickness and the width is represented by w here. Now if we take the case of round wire inductor here. So for round wire inductor the inductance is again represented by L and it can be computed as we have 5.08 in multiplication to 10 raised to the power minus 3 times small L and the square bracket that it was for the ribbon inductor that reduces to the form we have LN in the bracket L divided by D added to 0 0.386 here nano Henry per mill is here where the small d is the representation of the diameter of the round circle here in terms of millis whereas small l is the length in terms of millis. Now let us take the next case of circular spiral inductor here. So for the circular spiral inductor, the inductance L can be given in terms of 0 0.03125 N square D0 in terms of nano Henry per millis here, where this D0 can be found to be the 5 times Di and it can be 2.5 times N in the bracket W plus S in the terms of millis here. The small n that we have represented is the number of turns whereas small s that we have inside this bracket it is separation in terms of millis whereas w is the film width in the millis here. So these dimensions with respect to the circular spiral inductor can be represented in this diagram. Here we have d0 whereas d suffix i is this one we have the separation in the spiral by small s here whereas the width is represented as w in this case. Now for the next type of the inductor what we have 
द सर्क्यूलर लूप इंडक्टर वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट द इंडक्टेंस वैल्यू कैपिटल एल कॉम्प्यूटेड एज फाइव पॉइंट जीरो एट इंटू टेन रेस टू दावर माइनस थ्री टाइम स्मॉल एल इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन टू दर बैकेट दैट हैज एल एन ऑफ टी डिवाइडेड बाय डब्ल्यू प्लस टी माइनस वन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स ईयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ नैनो हेनरी पर मिलीज ईयर नेक्स्ट एंड द लास्ट टाइप ऑफ द इंडक्टर टाइप कैन बी ऑफ द स्क्वेर स्पाइरल इंडक्टर हियर सो फॉर स्क्वेर स्पाइरल इंडक्टर वी मेक द कॉम्पिटिशन ऑफ कैपिटल एल इज इक्वल टू बाय एट पॉइंट फाइव इन टू ए टू द पावर वन बाय टू एन टू द पावर फाइव बाय थ्री वेयर कैपिटल ए इज द सर्फेस एरिया so the surface area if it is in terms of centimeter square and small n is the number of turns so that time the inductance value is supposed to be obtained in terms of nano henry here so these formulae will be very very helpful for determination of the values for inductances at the specified inductor types here now let us have discussion with respect to the planar capacitor films here so in this diagram we have the representation of metal to oxide to metal type of the capacitor here so for metal oxide metal capacitor type we have the representation of the substrate here whereas this is the width of the substrate the height of the substrate can be denoted here the length of the substrate is denoted by l whereas these are the two metal contacts forming the capacitor structure here whereas the second type of the capacitor film can be of the interdigitated type here so for interdigitated capacitor we have the dielectric substrate here whereas this is nothing but the ground plane this belongs to the w representation for the width whereas small l is the length here now corresponding to the first type of the capacitor film that has been represented on to the left hand side here metal oxide metal capacitor the capacitance value can be determined by taking epsilon 0 in multiplication to epsilon r into l w divided by h so this is obtained in terms of farads here epsilon 0 is permittivity of the free space or air 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 farads per meter it is there this is the relative value this is the metal length this is the metal width and this is the height of the dielectric material whereas for the interdigitated type of the capacitor film here we have the formulation for capacitance c is equal to epsilon r plus 1 divided by w in multiplication to l and the square bracket that involves n minus 3 into a1 added to a2 here the square bracket is completed and the value of capacitance is obtained into the form eco farad per centimeter here where capital n is the number of the fingers that we can see into the schematic diagram whereas capital a1 holds the value 0.089 pico farad per centimeter that is the contribution of the interior finger for the condition h greater than w here the a2 value represented on to the rhs the second term here is 0.10 pico farad per centimeter that is the contribution from the two external fingers here for the same condition h greater than w here the small l is the finger length in terms of centimeters whereas small w is the finger base width in terms of again the centimeters here so these are the different types of the thin film form for the resistive 
inductive and that of the capacitive type the corresponding formulations for the resistance value the inductance value and the capacitive value are given in this particular video so we shall be using these particular formulations to have calculations to be made in the next three subsequent topics practicing the problems over it so i hope you shall be subscribing to ekda channel for getting such more information for the subject microwave engineering thank you